Today, March 2nd, we celebrate the feast of Saint Angela of the Cross, born in 1846 in Spain. Her father worked as a cook and her mother a laundress in a Trinitarian father's convent and Angela had to quit school at age 12 to work in a shoe factory to help support her family. She prayed the rosary daily and had a great devotion as a youth to Christ crucified. Father Torres Padilla became aware of her piety and became her spiritual director when she was 16 and helped discern if Angela had a call to religious life. She first tried to join the Carmelites, was refused, and when she was finally accepted at age 19, became so sick that she was forced to return to her family. When she recovered, she began caring for cholera victims and those even poorer than herself. In 1868, she entered the convent of the Daughters of Charity, but again her health failed and she was forced to return to her parents and the shoe shop. In 1871, with Father Padilla's blessing, she started a plan whereby she lived at home under a particular rule, yearly renewing her vows. While in prayer, Angela received a vision that she understood was calling her to a mission to the poor. On the 2nd of August 1875, the Congregation of the Cross was born. The congregation works with the sick, the poor, orphans and the homeless. Mother Angela of the Cross died in 1932 in Seville. She was beatified by Pope John Paul II and was canonized on May 4, 2003 by Pope John Paul II. Saint Angela of the Cross, pray for us.